Hello, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. Today I'm bringing you an inventory trailer. This is going to be a 2004 Barrett three-horse gooseneck. I don't know if you can tell, but this one is a bit taller. We're sitting seven, six tall. So for your bigger bodied horses, your taller horses, mules, stuff like that, this trailer would come in handy big time. But we'll get started right down here. You've got your coupler, safety chains, battery breakaway, all of your safety stuff under there. And then you got your manual crank jack over here on the side. So it just cranks up and down. We can easily get a hydraulic jack installed here um, in our service department if that's something you'd want. Um, easily can do it for you. And then your spare tire. And you will see that those are new tires on these. So going around here to the tack room, you've got our tack door with some hooks. The window up above gets some airflow going through and then your brush boxes. So I really like this setup. Everything's really handy right here, especially if you're working out of your trailer all the time and not having a tack room separate. Um, being able to have, you know, bridles or halters, stuff that you use consistently hanging right here and then your other stuff. So your um, brushes, your hoof picks, fly spray, everything like that. You can easily just have it right there. Easy access, you're not having to climb into the trailer and trip over stuff to get to it. But coming up here into the tack room. So up in the nose right there, extra storage space. If you're in a pinch, you could easily throw a mattress or something up there if you needed to. Windows on both sides so you can get those open and get airflow. Uh, you got some sweaty horse blankets or something, you can get those, those open. Then over here, you do have a shelf with the clothes bar down below. So the shelf does have a lip on it. So you'd be able to put hat, hat rack or anything like that in there and it's not gonna be falling off the shelf while you're driving. And then having that clothes bar, be able to hang your show clothes, um, chaps, whatever else you need to hang in here. And then I actually really like, this one's got a window down here as well. Get some more air, or well, airflow in it for one, but sunlight too when you're working in here and everything. So then down here, you've got the full length boot box, so it goes all the way across. And this one's got some goodies in it. Um, those are just hay nets for, or not hay nets, the, um, when we get to the other side, you'll see the screen that goes over the drop down windows. So then uh, we do have another little brush box right here. And then our blanket pull, this one, came with the hose, previous customer had in here. Um, so we just leave it in here. That's up to the new customer to decide if they want to keep that or get a new one. Um, but your bridle hooks up above, plenty of bridle rack space. I know our other trailers, majority of the other trailers, we point out that the carpet behind the bridle hooks to help alleviate that swishing and swaying. If that's something you'd want, we can easily get that installed here in our shop. We can get the carpet behind these bridle hooks and help keep that swishing and swaying down as much as possible. And then over here is your saddle rack. And then you've got your blanket poles up above. So three tier, looks like these are adjustable so you can move them up and down. Um, you just pull this pin, goes up and down along with those blanket poles. So that way if you got a saddle with a bigger horn, you know, your cutting saddles, your opening saddles, you need some more space, you can, you can move those up and down and get yourself some more space in there. So coming over here to the hip side of the trailer, we've got our bus windows that open up part way. So get your airflow going through, you can kind of pick and choose how much airflow you want for your horses, depending on the time of day and weather outside and everything. And then you've got ties. And I actually really like how high these ties are. I know that's not convenient for some people. I mean, I'm not tall enough, I'd have to step on the side, um, but you do have two. So if you wanted to tie a hay bag and then the horse, something along those lines, you can and they'd be able to sit out here comfortably and not get tangled up in themselves. So down below, we've got two 7,000 pound torsion axles with your 16 inch steel wheel. So used trailers that come in, unless we state otherwise, we send them through our shop, um, you know, our using trailers and our living quarters. So on the using trailers like this one, our shop here, they'll go through, they'll take the wheels off, check the brakes and the bearings. If the brakes and bearings need to be replaced or repacked, we'll do so. If the tires are over five years, 
worn or non-matching, replace all tires. And then we go and put a wheel alignment on them and make sure they're hauling straight for you, wearing the tires how they should be. That comes in handy big time when it comes to these older used trailers. You know, you hit a pothole, that's gonna hit you out of alignment right there. So being able to get these aligned and get you hauling straight helps out big time. Um, and then we'll go through all your safety speech features. So everything up front, your um, battery breakaway, your coupler, chains, all that stuff, make sure it's all operating how it should be. And we'll go through all your lights, make sure all the lights are working, turning on and off, um, blinkers, brakes. I mean, we go through these and make sure that everything is ready to go. So that when you were buying a used trailer from TransWest, unless we state otherwise, you're getting something that, you know, you're ready to put horses in and go down the road. But coming over here to the rear of the trailer, we got the 60-40 door split. And then we got some cool steam coming off because the sun hitting that. But 60-40 door split with the ramp coming down. So be able to get those horses up easier. And then also if you have four wheelers, ATVs, stuff like that, if they fit in here, you've got the ramp ready. You can get them in there easily. So coming up here into the rear of the trailer, We've got our dividers and these are, these stalls are quite quite a bit bigger than your average size stalls. So let me close this one real quick and you can kind of see how big they are for these big bodied horses. So I would feel comfortable putting a very, you know, pretty dang big horse in here. Wide one too would fit comfortably in this trailer without, you know, being squished, feeling cramped or anything like that. So pads on both sides of the dividers, on both of these. And let's say that you needed a stud divider. Um, you've got a horse that likes to step on other horses, something like that. Here in our shop, we can kind of fabricate something to make a stud divider for you. So either a rubber mat hang hanging down, um, they can weld aluminum panel down there so that you do have that full stud divider if you need it. So it's really neat about our guys here in the shop. They're really good at the work they do and we can fabricate, fabricate quite a bit of stuff. So up on this hip side of the wall, you'll see lights all the way across. So easier loading, unloading in the dark. Um, and I've heard there's been some studies that leaving lights on for horses when you're hauling in the dark actually helps them um, keep calmer and ease them a little bit better. And then up above, we do have roof vents. So those roof vents, they push forward and they push backward. So that'll help you get your maximum airflow going through. Push them forward, that'll help, you know, draw that air in. Push them back, it'll help draw it back out. And then I did forget to point out, you do have an LED light up above here too. So you do have that load light, be able to, you know, see better. And that one I'd have to double check. That might not be LED up there. So coming over here to the head side of the trailer, we've got our three drop downs. And you'll see right here how much space between these windows that just that's showing you how big these stalls are and how wide they are for those bigger body horses but you got your drop downs so these all come down and they pop into place that way they're not hitting there slapping against the trailer while you're driving down the road and then you've got your jail bars that come down as well so bringing those jail bar down jail bars down Helps you, you know, if you're going down the road and you got to check on some horses, but you don't want to open that back door and risk someone getting out, you can check on them through there, offer them more feed, offer them more water. Um, just being able to bring it down helps out big time. And then like for me, if I've got a horse that's a little newer to loading and stuff like that, I will actually load the horse, not tie it, but get that divider shut. And then I come around the outside and I drop this down and tie from the outside. And that way I'm not getting myself or the horse in a pickle and not causing issues down the line with having injuries or something happen. And then here on this first stall, you do have that um, escape door. So I'll show you how this opens up. She's frozen shut. All right, well, I can take a picture later and I'll post it in the comments with it open up so you can see what it looks like because um, she's a little frozen. It's been a bit cold here, <laughs> but this is a 2004 Barrett three horse gooseneck, extra tall at seven, six tall. And then we're fit, sitting at seven feet wide. And then we have an empty weight of 4,900 pounds. So depending on the vehicle, tow vehicle, 
Uh, majority of three quarter tons should be able to pull this. Just double check your tow rating to make sure. Look, I said it's a 2004 Barrett three horse gooseneck. Stock number 5U220076. And that's 5U220076. If you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers on our lot or on our website, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can call or text me at my cell phone at 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303-684-3451. Or you can shoot me an email at morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N dot null, K-N-O-L-L -L, at transwest.com. I look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and I hope you have a great day.